Adobe Story is an online scriptwriting program that allows the scriptwriter or director to organize his scripts and his documents in a variety of different ways. For this tutorial, I'm going to take you through the workspace real quick and then I will walk you through a couple of different scripts and a couple of different reasons why I like to use different scripts and for different reasons. Um, for, so let's get started. First, this is my um, organizational or script area. You'll see there's a list of scripts here, a bunch of character bios. We'll talk about that here in a minute. Um, and then the list of different projects. On the right hand side, you'll see it says my name, online, so it's showing that I'm online right now. Uh, but I can also work offline. The nice thing about Adobe Story is that it's uh, a secured site and uh, when I work offline, I, as soon as I go back online, it will update all of the work that I've done to the online server um, cloud. If I come over here, to, it'll also allow you to send messages between writers. The nice thing about Adobe Story, one of the nice things about Adobe Story, is that I can share documents uh, with other staff members or other writers. Um, and I have two other writers that work with Area 51 Productions. Um, and I can add them to a project and allow them to be co-authors with myself so that they can go on to a project and write or edit or do whatever that they are um, doing on that project. I can also create new scripts or documents by clicking on new, coming over here to the arrow and clicking on that. You'll see it gives me a variety of different options. I can create a film script, TV script, AV script, multi-column script, character bios, and we'll talk about that in a minute, log lines, pitches, um, research that I've done, summaries, synopsis, other documents. One of the nice things is that the summary, or research, I'm sorry, the research is nice because any research that I've done, I've done about 15 years worth of research for one of the projects that I'm working on, um, and it allows me to organize that research so that I can reference it at any time. Uh, another is character bios, and for, so let's uh, do this for an example. If I click on character bio, you'll look on the left hand side, it says character bios here, and I have several. Okay. We're going to label this character bio Christoph. Sorry, Christoph. And then I click Create. And what it will do is it will bring up a blank document. And I can write Christoph bio. And then I can just go down here and add different uh, character bio stuff that when I print out the script and I hand out the character bios to my actors, um, it has a basic character bio here. I can also cut and paste. Um, I also have an outline, basically, that I like my actors to fill out um, to start creating on their character. And so that can go in here as well. When I, I can click Save, obviously, close it out, and you'll see Kristoff is down here under the character bio. Okay. Over here in the All Projects, uh, when you click on that, it drops down. There's a whole list of different projects that uh, we're working on at the moment. For this example, uh, I'm going to use two scripts. Uh, the We Were Vampire, and then I'll also do the music video script for Lady Let's Ride. For We Were Vampire, though, I'm going to double-click on that, and that's my main script here. And I'm going to close out of here for a second. You'll see there's a bunch of other scripts here. These are what I call micro scripts or webisodes. Uh, my main script is 80 pages. Some of the other webisodes are between 4 and 11 pages long. Um, and so it allows me to keep all of my scripts all in one location under one project. Okay, so this is the We Were Vampire Project script. Uh, you'll notice um, it has the title page on it, um, and you have your title, original story and concept by the author, uh, based on Joshua Janeri as myself, by the way, um, based on the sacred, and then screenplay by, and down here you'll see it's Area 51 Productions, the copyright date, uh, and the registration number. 
This is also very important for you authors who do a lot of writing. Always make sure you register your scripts to the WGA and the copywriting, uh, the federal government. This will make sure that any script that you do is always copyrighted and protected. Okay, moving along. So, we go down here to, uh, you can obviously do opening titles, shots, um, dialogue, and what it'll do is it'll help format it for you. So when I want to format something, I right click on the section, you'll see that where it says that character is highlighted, that's showing that this is the character section. When I want to uh, type in dialogue, I simply come down to the next line, right click, click on dialogue, and I can start immediately start typing in the dialogue. It'll also help you sh uh, set up shots, um, scenes, transitions, uh, cuts that you want it, might want to do. Um, and if you come up here to, you'll see up here at the top is my control panel. Come over here to where it says production. And I clip on, click or click on uh, manage scene numbers. I can it'll automatically add the scene numbers into the script and create the scene numbers here. You'll see um, this is a shot uh, number under the scene number. And then if I want to do, I can also add shot duration. So if I want to get an estimate on how long each section will take. Um, in the actual film itself. I'll click on that and on the right hand side you'll see it sets up these shot durations for me. Now these are only an estimation and an approximation about how long these sections would be um, once they're edited and cut um, into the film. Um, and then so yeah that's that. One of the greatest things about Adobe Story is that all of this information in here is considered to be what we call metadata. Metadata is information that will be transferred with the script um, into other Adobe programs. Adobe has a beautiful cross-platform um, setup so that you can start in Adobe Story. All of this data will be stored and I can transfer it into my on-location program when I go on to set and begin to shoot and it will cross transfer um, or it will cross-platform into a, uh, Premiere Pro and also After Effects and some of the other Adobe programs. And all of that metadata will simply slide down the pipeline um, and stay with the program. I can also add notes and different, um, different aspects to my scripts or video, whatever. If I come over here, I can also for, um, click on Format Tool and it will give me a traditional um, writer's toolbar that will pop up here while I'm writing as well. Another very cool thing about Adobe Story is that it, over here on the left it breaks out my scenes for me so that I can um, pick, a, pick a scene and it'll jump down to that scene um, in my script writing program the colored dots over here indicate different characters. If I put my cursor on here, you'll see that's Laura and that's Mark. That shows that those two characters are both in that one scene. Um, and if a character's in a scene and doesn't have dialogue, like you'll see in scene uh, four up here, there's Laura and Mark, but Mark is the only one that actually does any talking. The program will recognize Laura's name here, down here, and will add her to that scene. If by some chance it doesn't, I can go in and I can add Laura into a scene um, and give it another list of characters um, that aren't necessarily involved in dialogue but are main characters that have a close-up or a mid-shot um, just to identify them so that we can have them ready on the day of shooting. So if I come down here to 14 and click on it, you'll see the script jumps down to 14. I can go in and make edits here, check anything I need to, or I can
As I stated before, one of the nice things is that you can also share your scripts by clicking on share. And if I click on share, it'll bring up a box here. I just simply type in the co-author or if I want them to be a co-author, a reviser, um, or just a reader, I can limit the amount of access they have to that script. Um, I have a gentleman, um, several gentlemen actually, who are uh, studio executives and so I've given them uh, full access as a reviser um, to be able to review and revise the scripts and then I have other script writers that work with me and other editors and based on what they do necessarily they will have be given different um, abilities to access different parts of the script. So that's a really nice feature that Adobe has added into that or this whole program. Okay, so that pretty much covers script writing. Um, the other thing that you can do when you come up here to file, click on file, you can export. Now, one of the things that Adobe has added into this is Adobe Story Interchange Format, also known as the ASTX. This format will, when I click on it, will put an icon or a little uh, file on my uh, desktop or wherever I save it that will then allow me to transfer this script into the Adobe On Location program and will bring up um, or preset all of my shots or my shot list based on this script um, and based on how many shots I decide I want to actually add into the script physically will determine those shots that are in On Location. Uh, and if you'd like a reference for that, you can go to my uh, On Location uh, program and, and look at the reference for that. I can also export as a PDF, um, a text document, MS, final, uh, final draft date, which is nice, or uh, Movie Magic's scheduling. One of the other nice um, things about Adobe Story is that it'll let me do... Um, Scene breakouts or breakdown reports, and it will break down reports and according to scene report, location report, character report, cast report, um, statistics, comments, shots, tags. So on the day of production or, or, or a couple days before production, I can go to my script, I can go down to my cast or character reports, print those out, and that way we have our call sheets for the next shoot day. Um, or statistics and different different uh, I can also customize a report which is really nice as well camera shots videotaped and have different reports for different things okay so that completes the Adobe story uh, film script uh, section of this video I have also been asked what format I like to use the best for uh, my music videos and commercials. One of the things that I'm going to do, and this is really for the um, independent filmmaker or the um, new independent filmmaker. So if you're an experienced filmmaker, you probably already are familiar with this, uh, but this is for the new filmmaker. One of the things that I like to do with Area 51 Productions and that I found um, the most efficient is to do what we call an AV script or an audio video script when I'm doing music videos or um, commercials. And what an AV script does basically is it breaks down your audio and video into two sections. Your video, which are your shot, li or your shot list, and your audio. From, this is uh, Lady List Ride, the music video. These are the dialogue or the words uh, of the song. And then I have my shot list. Um, one of the best things about the AV script as I've found when I'm doing music videos and or commercials is that this is a very very simple format for my cast and crew to follow uh, they can look and they know exactly what shot we're going to work on um, and I can break it down into days or I can break it down however I want to um, by highlighting it in color as well um, so for example there's a shot here called a moving shot of both riding the uh, bike together. Um, this was a shot we did the other day and uh, it was a really easy thing to explain to the cast and crew 
and then if it came out the footage came out beautifully uh, when we went out and shot it um, and then they also my uh, performer Johnny Ray also knows that this is the section of the song that this shot is going to go to and uh, my crew knows okay we're gonna go do a moving shot um, I was able to take the driver and uh, explain uh, to the cast and crew how that shot was going to be set up and it made for a fairly quick shoot and it was a complex shot it was a moving shot uh, we did have to secure the crane and the camera and all of that down to the truck when we were shooting it but it was really really a fun experience um, and the footage like I said came out beautifully so that is another um, advantage to using the AV script is it uh, foregoes all of the other um, regular film script direction that you would normally put in a film script because again we're not doing a film script this is a uh, it's really a uh, video and audio script specifically built for music videos commercials and those kind of things where you don't need all of the extra direction um, and then you'll see here I can also add different directions down here if I want to uh, with most of these I didn't because I directed the music video and when it came to doing the crane shots I operated the crane myself um, partially because I was in the back of a truck um, and it became a safety thing and we wanted to make sure that um, I was the one operating the crane uh, because we were on a road even though we we sort of um, had a, a safety car running behind us um, and we had all that set up so I use an AV script and um, that's why so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial I've enjoyed uh, going through my process with you and I will talk to you soon